Welcome back. The time is now 645 between the dredging of the Savannah River and future construction down the road. The Georgia Ports Authority is bringing in more cargo every day. That means more 18 wheelers on I-16 and 75, Caitlin. Now, a lot of times we talk about safety concerns when we're talking about more mm -hmm. vehicles on the road. But this morning, Suzanne Lawler shows you why more ships docking off the coast means more career opportunities for central Georgia. And one of the key factors in uh, deciding to invest here in, in Georgia is uh, our local uh, supply chain and, and obviously the Savannah port plays a massive part in that. Sam Gobine takes glass and uses it to make construction products. Right now they've got 50 people on the payroll in Dublin, but when they ramp up, CEO Stuart Falls says they'll add another 350. We have a big plant over in the Czech Republic, so in terms of you know that supply chain between uh, between the two plants it's the savannah port is crucial for us they're not alone five minutes away from saint gobain is this industrial park it is over 300 acres it's set to open in a couple of weeks it is just another example of how the port authority is making a big impact in central georgia and lawrence county Think of the Georgia ports as a rainbow of sorts, and you'll find the pot of gold in Dublin. It's, it's a very exciting time to be a part of Dublin, Lawrence County. Jimmy Allgood is with the Lawrence County Development Authority. He says with more upgrades, the Ports Authority will move 4 million containers from here out into the state of Georgia. The vast majority of that come up and down I-16. The Lawrence Development Authority estimates over the last three years, the ports have directly brought more than 775 jobs into the area, creating an economic impact of more than $66 million. And that's just in this county. Peterbilt has come here logistic-wise. We've, we've had the Loves and the Pilots all come in, and all of these are, are related to I-16 and the Georgia ports. All good says they've got even more plans for progress. We're working on a triangulation, which is containers coming to Washington County, coming back from Atlanta as far as warehousing, and they need a point that they can change these without going all the way to the port. It's about 118 miles between Dublin and the port, but the benefits are driving big business right here in central Georgia. Suzanne Lawler, 13 WMAZ News. It's amazing what kind of impact the ports can have. Yeah, but it's, it's definitely huge, and Dublin is not far away from Savannah at all, so I mean, it makes perfect sense. It's kind of a win-win. Yeah. Now, other businesses that have recently come to Lawrence County, thanks to the ports, include Ascenso Tires of North America and Perry Ellis International, and additionally, Friendly Gus, Peterbilt of Dublin, and other companies have grown in Dublin, Lawrence County because of the increased commercial truck traffic on I-16. If you want to see extra footage from the Georgia ports in Savannah, just look for this story on our website. It's at 13WMAZ.com.